Shalom. Call Halal Yahweh by Shem Abishai, by Hashem Rakar Kadash. Double honors unto the apostles and the elders of GMS. Salutations to all my fellow laborers, my Akim. You know, confusion to face. Um, Ak, you know, Akim. That do this work in truth and sincerity. You know, risking their lives and their freedom to do so. Uh, to the Akwaf that are listening and learning, to the hopefully elect, to you I say Shalom. It's a short lesson. It's been a long day. This is the end of the day. I, I normally try to do these uh, before I even start my day. But, you know, it was a lot on my mind. I was watching a lot of videos uh, and travel on the way back here. Um, responding to comments, you know, and... Uh, the scoffers who just without ceasing and some of the worst scoffers are, are, are Israel all right because even though the snake is representation of the serpent which is Esau you know the scriptures are already manifold and, and a lot of Jakes have a have a snake-like character themselves these days all right they do because they come against the you know the prophets at every turn. You know, they've killed us in the past and and uh they'd like to do it again. You know, like uh speaking one yet again on the that the the wicked woman which is uh Cherry Love. Um she, her name should be Cherry Hate because with her lies her 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 her, uh, her bearing a fault witness witness and her lies um you know, and her glorifying street violence and, and street niggas, she says, all right, that could make people disappear. Well, first off, we're not choir boys. We from, we're from the streets as well, you know. The Lord woke his men up out of, out of some of the strangest places, okay. And uh, she also made the statement that we would never go and teach that in the hood. We taught for years in the hood, and there's plenty of uh, there's plenty of, of, of video evidence to prove that, you know, all over Chicago, from the west side to the south side, to the Hispanic neighborhoods, so-called. All right, in the in the in the heart of the ghetto, we even had people pull weapons on us, shoot at us. People people die right in front of us, die a couple feet away from us. This woman has no idea, man. We have a hedge of protection, you know, and we're going to continue to do that, you know. And if the Lord decides to remove his hedge, then so be it. But as for me and my house, we're going to serve the Lord, you know, me and my brother. So uh, this is Matthew 23. I'm going to start at verse 33. And it says, ye serpents, ye generation of vipers. How can ye escape the damnation of hell? And so people like Cherry Love and whoever the dude was with the 33, the Mason number on his in red and black <laughs> with his hair covering his hair like a woman, G-Man or whatever, or something, whatever he, he is, man. They, they were like serpents, man. All right. The way that they uh, they came and did what they did. And especially being the backstabbers uh, that they are. Those same Hebrew Israelites who were in cahoots with the, with the Romans, with the Edomites, you know, against their own people. Against the prophets. All right, verse 34. Wherefore, behold, I sent unto you prophets and wise men and scribes, and some of them ye shall kill and crucify. And some of them ye shall scourge in your synagogues and persecute them from city to city. All right. And that persecution is, is upon us. All right. But yet the Lord still has a, a, a hedge around us at the same time. All right. His brothers are catching hell, man. You know, just like the, the, the prophets and the disciples, the apostles did back then. All right. Verse 35. 
that upon you may come all the righteous blood shed upon the earth, from the blood of the righteous Abel unto the blood of Zechariah, son of Barachias, whom ye slew between the temple and the altar. Verily I say unto you, all these things shall come upon you this generation. And that's why you Jakes are getting slaughtered in the streets, man. Getting shot down on camera, unarmed and everything else, but still no justice for you. You know, while you women are getting put to death. They got some killer in, in, in um, I believe in Chicago, that's been bodying women for years. They ain't found this dude, man. All right. And that's not talking about all women. That's talking about you wicked women, man. All right, if the shoe fit, wear it. Okay? But it says right here, it says, O Jerusalem, O Jerusalem, thou killest the prophets and stonest them which I sent unto thee. How often would I have gathered thy children together, even as a hen gathered her chickens under her wings, and ye would not, man. So, you know, it, it, these jakes, man, Israel is just wicked, man. The two-thirds of, of, of Israel. And they are going to pay dearly for that. All right? Because on, the Lord is only coming back for the remnant. The rest of you are going to get it on the other side after death by pain, man. And you best believe that uh, Cherry Love is one of those, man. Let least she repent. And if the sister uh, repented, you know, and, and, and came and apologized and made, you know, made a public statement how she was wrong... I would forgive her. I mean, I mean, I'm all about mercy. I'm trying to seek mercy for, for, for my wickedness, for my sins, for my flesh. For the scriptures clearly say our, our righteousness is as filthy rags. And that woman, she's as a mistress cloth. What do you do with a mistress cloth? You discard it, man. All right. But she has a lot of repentance to do. But I can almost guarantee you she's not going to do that. She's got she's not gonna take heed to the scriptures. She's gonna continue to try to teach, even though we brought out all the scriptures that, that prove that you're not. You know, the most high is not dealing with women in that way. The most high's church is is of men. Always have been, always will be. Okay. Um, this is Zechariah 13, verse 8. And it says, And it shall come to pass, and in all the land. See, if Yahweh, two parts therein shall be cut off and die, but the third shall be left therein. That third is the one third, man, which we're fighting to be a part of by doing this work, by standing boldly in the highways and byways, in the chief concourse, right? Chief concourse is not the hood. All people and all nations are not coming to the hood. And then when you understand, you got to remember some of our people are among the heathen. So we have to go where all people go. All right. And probably more than half of the people on the in the in the area of downtown where we teach is Jake. The other half is heathen. Alright? But more than half is Jake. So that little comment she made about how we want to take this message to the hood, we or we haven't, that's a lie. Alright? I never even heard of this woman before. Uh, last Friday and then all I can see the evidence of is her just being a liar and a hater of the truth and a hater of the men of the Lord all right um, verse 9 back in Zechariah 13 and 9 and I will bring the third part through the fire and will refine them as silver is refined and will try them as gold is tried and they shall call on my name and I will hear them and I will say it is my people and they shall say, Yahweh is my power. Okay? That's that's how it's going to go down. Alright? Um, let me jump to Wisdom of Solomon. I'm going to close this out. This wasn't going to be a long video. It just, you know, the spirit was heavy on me to uh, do something. And then uh, just decided the spirit guided me to this because I was reading that scripture about the serpent. You know, old Jerusalem. <clears throat> but this is Wisdom of Solomon, uh, chapter 1. Um, I'll read verses like 1 through 5. And it reads, Love righteousness, ye that be judges of the, of the earth. 
Think of Yahweh with a good heart and the simplicity of heart seeking. All right. Let's read it because it says a righteous man shall judge. Shall judge, you know, roughly paraphrasing. All right. And this is a. Uh, Proverbs 8 and 4. All right. Who the judges are. It says. Unto you, O men, I call and my voice is to the sons of man. So you women out there that call yourself prophetess and teachers and pastor this and minister that. And no. Is the, no, the Lord didn't call to women like that. All right. And even the women of the past, they weren't prophesying. They weren't saying something before it happened. The women of the past uh, uh, who 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 were in positions or, or the books that are mentioned in books. If you really read going to the stories, the stories about the men involved in the books and the women were not prophesying. If they said anything, they, they were either giving prayers for their people or they were reminding the people of what the prophets said. All right. The Lord didn't raise up some woman to be a leader and a savior. Not ever. Not once. The Lord's dealing with men. The Bible just said so. Not me. See, people just have a problem with the Bible, man, because they want to feed their own bellies. Okay. This is uh, back in Wisdom of Solomon, verse uh, chapter one. And I'm going to read verse two now. It says for. For he will be found of them that tempt him. For he will, for he will be found of them that tempt him not, and showeth himself unto such as do not distrust him. For the forward thoughts separate from power and his power when it is tried. Reprove the unwise, for for into malicious for for into a malicious soul wisdom shall not enter, nor dwell in the 